Let me first say it categorically. I'm not appealing to the president. Let him continue this tyranny that he's doing. I, we like it. This is what we expect from him. You understand? You know when the, uh, the African people have a proverb that when the gods want to finish you, they first of all may, make you run mad. Hello, one of our followers and subscribers of Oligo and I hope this video finds you well. Uh, you might write lawyer, Barrister Deji. He has come out to lambast Pablo Escobar. He said he's calling for anarchy. Guys, um, during the last um, protest, you understand, that just ended, the end back governor's protest. Now, I learned that close to a thousand, you know, um, protesters were arrested. Now, they've just arraigned only 10 in Abuja. What are they charging them for? Treasonable felony. People that went out to cry out that they are hungry. Government did attend to their needs. They did attend to any of their demands. That's the reason why now they are warming up very well for another protest in October 1st. Is a person called himself used to be the father of protest, who staged a protest. Uh, was in the occupied Nigeria sponsor against the government of the day there. Now, because some some Nigerians went to protest their, for against Onga, you are not, you are arrested. You are not charged for treasonable felony. Now, like this, is this how the country is going to move move forward? Is this how the country going to move forward? Like this? Please let me like this video. Share it. Please share this video for the world to see the evil of Pablo Escobar, Tiff Tinubu. Please, let's watch the video together and listen to Barista Deji. Thank you. Deji, let me start with you, because I know that during the protests we had you, you came here, and you're one of those who were on the streets protesting in Abuja as at that time. Were the charges now leveled against those that were arrested? Because these persons that were arrest arrested were those that took part in that protest where you were also there. Were the charges leveled against them? Aren't you also afraid that the government may come after you? As, well, well, as being I'll, a part of those who I would be protesting. delighted if I'm charged for a treasonable felony. I would be delighted for protesting. After all, terrorists are enjoying this government. And none of them have been charged in the last one year. How do you know about that? Show me. Show me an instance where terrorists that have been terrorizing and kidnapping people in Kaduna, in Zamfara, in Sokoto, in Kebi, all across the country. One instance where terrorists were charged where te one terrorist has been declared wanted in the last one year, like the way protesters have just been declared. You know, it's a shame that this is the best joke they could come up with. And they are not even laughing to their funny jokes. Very hi hilarious, I must say. Uh, are, are we not all entertained by the clowns and the gest gestures uh, that we are witnessing all over the country today? Indeed, I am entertained, and I think you should be entertained as well. You know, unfortunately, it's, it's a dangerous joke because uh, this is, in fact, what they are afraid of is what they are eventually encouraging. You know, I, I do not see why anyone will be scared of protest. What they are trying to do is to criminalize protest implicita to ensure that citizens, oh, when people hear, ah, some people have been charged for treasonable felony, me, I don't want protest again, no. So they are trying to, one of the protesters was arrested in church yesterday. Yesterday? Yesterday in church, was arrested in church. Members of the church resisted and said, why will you arrest anybody and even come to the church of God to arrest the person because of protest? Do you know what the police officers who went to arrest him told the church people? Just so that they can get away with the guy. They said he was an arm robber. That the guy is an arm robber. They arrested a journalist in uh, Portacourt. They announced on the flight, they made sure everybody boarded the flight. Then they announced on the flight that the guy is a kidnapper on the flight. These are the kind of people that are in power. These uh, grab it, snatch it, run with it fellow. A, he has been protesting all his life. He's a product, he's a, one of the chief beneficiary of June 12th struggle. A struggle that was brought to light by protest. These are people, look at all the people today. You see policemen acting like politicians, making careless remarks. These are the things that made military rule possible in the first place. But we're not praying for that in Nigeria. Nobody's praying for military rule. But you can see what these guys are doing. And 
People are watching them and taking notes. This was the reason. Go and check all through history. Look at what has just happened in Bangladesh. Senseless politicians behaving like mad people all over the country in Bangladesh was why the, the democratic elected government in Bangladesh was removed. You know, so these guys should be careful. Oh, nobody wants military to come back to this country. The, uh, the reason why I cannot speak about the arraignment of the protesters is that I'm, I'm one of the lawyers to the protesters. Okay. I'm representing the sixth, seventh, and eighth defendant in that matter. So I will not make any remarks that will be subjudice. So I will refrain from speaking about the matter in court. But I can tell you for free that what the current government is doing is inviting anarchy. Because uh, you, you have seen how bloody the Shiite protests uh, became. When you make peaceful protests impossible, you know, pe because people just have to vent. You cannot be making bad, bad economic policies back to back. And you are telling people that people cannot protest that protest is now treasonable felony. People were arrested. People, people uh, homes were broken. People were abducted for protesting, and you call that treasonable felony. And terrorists are dancing and sharing their location on TikTok as we speak. A, an emir was kidnapped in this country by terrorists. That does not anger the government. But what angers the government is, is, is protest. These guys even have the guts to call people like even me. They called me to threaten me that I should stop supporting the protesters. Can you just imagine in a democracy? What, you you I, got a call? Yeah, of course. I've gotten several calls from security agencies in this country threatening me to stop supporting the protesters. In a democracy, in a democracy, even the military regime, the protests were happening under the military regime. And how is this government different from military regime? How? How is this government different from any military regime? Because if the idea is to dis dissuade people from uh, 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 calling for military incursion, which many of us have, 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 have condemned, then you are doing worse than the military did. You are violating people's rights. You are breaking into people's homes. You are trying to criminalize free speech. You are trying to criminalize journalism. You are trying to criminalize protests. And you say people should not wave flags, which, of course, apparently we have condemned. The government should stop fueling the agitation for raising of flags. The government should stop funding the agitation for people to begin to hate democracy. Because if the government continues this way, more people will begin to hate democracy. And this government is the number one the uh, demarketer of the current democracy that we enjoy in the country, not the protesters. Okay. The protesters well, are saying they want go bad governance to De end. Deji, before I, before I go to uh, Barrister Otapupu, I need to ask you this question because you were on the streets during the protest. Yes, indeed. Since we do not want, you don't want to talk about and that protest. Because if I, let, me, let me just mention what the lawyer to the federal government to, uh, said. Why would, uh, I think at the beginning of this program, he mentioned that a foreigner was uh, inciting, he was causing inducement, that, that, inducing that's, Nigerians. That's, that's media publicity. Oh, a senior order. advocate of Nigeria should know the rule of, rule of professional conduct. He should not be doing that. Okay. He, so he's, he's, said, because the man is already charged before the court. The rules of professional com conduct forbids a lawyer who is in the matter to be de still diving into the arena and be making conclusions and passing judgments. That is mis professional misconduct. Let me also say this. He said, it is not an issue of protest, but that of inciting mutiny. He does not. It is, listen, a lawyer who is interested and involved in a matter should refrain from making extrajudicial comments on the matter that the cause already seized of. Okay. The cause already seized of the matter. So I will not, I will not respond to him. Okay, what, what about where he also said there were circulating revolutionary books in courts. The that, what, what, what is the need for the media trial? The matter is already before the court. Revolutionary books. Uh, listen, is not that is why I court. said that is why I said the conduct of the senior lawyer is professional misconduct. Pro, it's professional misconduct, and I will not engage in any professional misconduct. Okay, let's let's go to your let's go to your experience during the during the protest. Was there any time that a foreigner came to you as a, one of the protesters? 
telling you to topple this government? How does it look like a protest to unseat the government? Do, does ending bad government, why, why should anybody have an issue with a protest to end bad governance? Is it that they want bad governance to continue? I don't understand these guys. Okay, so somebody has an issue with protesters demanding, how does an ed bank governor's protest, how does it become a protest to topple the government? If not unnecessary paranoia, of the unfortunate part of this issue is that we have Bucaneers supporting go the government. People who do not have regard for rule of law. People who do not believe that protest should be condoned. You can, the body language of the, of the government suggests that they don't want protests. And that the reason why they are doing all this is because Protest is coming on October 1. Are you sure that protest will hold? Protest will always hold. With, with, military, with what is going on now, listen, is anybody going to allow their child listen, to go to Listen, that was what people said when the military were killing people. The protests were still happening in this country uh, of this government. And you ask the question whether the government does not like the kind of protest. The, the name. The, the title, name. Yeah. Embargo, it is not their prerogative to like or not to like what citizens are protesting about. Citizens have a right to protest. It's not a right to be conferred on citizens by security agencies. It's not a right to be conferred on citizens by the president. It's not even a right to be conferred by the courts. It's a right that is inalienable, conferred by the constitution. We, the people of Nigeria, are the ones that confer the rights on ourselves. The court, the responsibility of the court is to interpret the constitution. You understand? So, the idea of saying that, oh, we only like a protest that is, okay, why is it that the government does not have anything against, why are pro-government protesters, after all, pro-government protesters were out on 1st of August. Why are they not being, why are they not facing treasonable felonies? That's what I was asking you. What are, so, what, are so those, what is the what, issue? What, what are those other parts, people that came out? And, and, and now you're talking about, you're yes. talk, you talking about issue of holding flag. Yes. Holding flag is not a crime known to law. Except if we amend our laws today. Holding, holding, a, foreign, a, foreign, holding a foreign flag is flag, not, flag, flag, is not a Nigeria. crime known to law. And the law says you can only charge and arrange someone for an offense known to law. Okay, what about destruction what, of what, government property? Who, who among the protesters destroyed any government property? Oh, you, you saw what happened in some mm. states in the, in the mm. northern part of the, the country. The, the law is clear. Before you, you charge someone, before you charge someone, there must be mens rea, there must be, there must be a meeting of the mind. People were arrested at different locations in the country. You brought them together and lumped and charged. Anyway, I don't want to even go into the charge. I don't want to go into the charge at all. What we are saying is very simple, that citizens have the right to protest in their own country. And that that right, is an inalienable right that cannot be taken away. Having said that, it's also important to note that government at all levels must be seen to be protecting the rights of the people, not infringing on it. Okay, but, but Deji, let me, let me also ask you this question. Yes, they have the right to protest. But when the protest becomes a bad one, you know that it will affect another person. And that's where the, another person's right starts from. So when it becomes violent at that time, will you call that the right to protest? You see... The, it is the responsibility and duty of security agencies to ensure that protests do not degenerate. After all, they, they deployed more security personnel to stop this protest than to stop insecurity in the country. Imagine if they put the, the energy and the resource that was used to stop this protest into fixing this country. Nigeria would be better off. So, in Abuja alone, the police, they secured an order to detain 124 25 protesters only 10 were arraigned today where are the remaining 115 protesters that's a question we're asking we want them to be charged or released some of the protesters that were arraigned today in court were released on administrative bail before they brought back themselves mm. back because they were asked to report severally so we will not go into the the ingredients and the elements in the of, containing of the yes. charge you know, because we don't want to be uh, say anything as subjudice that, All right. that will, that will um, make the court think in one way or the other. So what we want to focus on is the substance of the protest. What were the protests about? The protest was about ending hunger in the country. The protest was about reducing price of petrol. That's staying on the issue. The protest is about amending the constitution to have a more people-friendly constitution. 
Yes, they did. One of the main reasons why government wants to charge protesters with terrorism now, and why they are not charging bandits and terrorists in the north, in, in the north and south part of the country with with uh, treasonable felonies, because the protest said that politicians should cut the cost of, cost of governance. Of course, they are angry. That's why they they now said, oh, let's teach them a lesson. They want to take away our bread. Or they, they, they want to take away our allowances. Oh, come on, let's fight terrorism charges against them. So that is just the only explanation. All right, JG. Let, let's, uh, because our time is already gone. We are already uh, being warned that we have less it's now. A, a lot of persons are already feeling the page. And if these persons are saying they are still coming out to protest because life is not still easy. Just this afternoon, somebody called me from Portacourt that fuel is 1,000 Naira from the pub price. And if you see the queue in Abuja, I couldn't buy fuel. The car I have never driven, I've, I've led for over three months, is what I had to bring out today. Because it was difficult for me as, as a journalist to go stay in the queue for 12 hours waiting to buy fuel. So this, this is one thing that is making Nigerians react. But as it stands now, where is the future of this young man? Protesters who are still saying they will take to the streets. And um, he said it, with what is happening now, people may not come out. Yes, IJ, I would rather say, I would say, uh, for emphasis, that the transgender movement of man from state of nature into society was based on social contract. It was based on this social contract that government was instituted. Because in every human affair, man is a social animal. There must be somebody, some kind of conduct to regulate the activities of man. So the primary purpose of government being instituted under a social contract theory between man is to provide for social amenities, education, health, uh, welfare, uh, all the social amenities. Mm. But the government in this context have failed to these expectations. But I will blame it on the government and I will blame it to legal instrument, the 1999 constitution that under chapter 2, fundamental objective and directive principles of state policy, have refused to the right, of edu the right to education, right to social amenities, right to go to school, right to do this, remain a dead letter. Mm. The court interpreted to say, oh, it's unenforceable right in Nigeria. Not just in abroad, you can enforce it when yes. government refuses to pay your school fees, to provide certain things, you go to court and challenge it, and you have your right. But in Nigeria, you cannot enforce those rights under chapter 2, the court said, oh, our hands are tied. Those rights are, have been declared to be an aspiration All right. or intention which government want to achieve in future. So until we enforce those rights under the chapter 2 of the constitution, through national uh, constitutional amendment, we will get nowhere. Mm -hmm. The right to freedom of assembly and association and protest is constitutional. There is, we don't need to speak too much grammar about it. President Buhari Buhari in 2003, Led a protest in Kano State, in the case of Buhari versus IGP. He led a protest after the uh, presidential election, which of us will declare winner. Uh, he went to court, he went to, uh, to protest with, uh, I think, ACN or, or, or that party that time, AMPP. And they wrote to IG to provide, IG went to block them and arrest some of them. They went to court, and the court declared their right to protest. All right, thank, you so, thank you so much. So I enjoy the people of Nigeria to believe that God exists. Be law abiding, trust in God. One day, God will intervene. Because this hardship, so much. this hardship is getting to a point that when you see your brother, you start slapping your brother. Thank